what are cubed numbers? Now before we get into it, it would be a really good idea to make sure that you understand what squared numbers are. You can do that by going and watching the video linked in the description below. To start with, let's actually have a look at a cube. Now, the difference between a cube and a square is that not only do we have to think about the height and the width, but we also have to think about the depth of the shape too. And in a cube, all three of these have to be equal. So to make our very first cube, we're gonna have to go one high, one across, and one deep. This is one cubed. Let's go ahead and have a go at cubing the number two. So we're gonna have to have two cubes going up, two cubes across, and two cubes deep. If we were to count all these up, we'd find that we need to use eight cubes to make a shape that's two up, two across, and two deep. So therefore, we can say that two cubed gives us eight. Let's look at another example. This time, we're gonna make a cube with threes. So three up, three across, three deep. Again, if we were to break this up, we'd find that we need 27 cubes in order to make this shape. There is a shortcut that we can use instead of actually having to make a physical cube each time we want to cube a number. Looking back at the blue one cubed, we can see that all we need to do is multiply the sides by each other. One times one times one, or in other words, one cubed gives us one. So for the second one, we've got two and we're multiplying it by two and then we're multiplying it by two again. So two times two is four and then multiply that by two again and that gives us Eight. So 2 cubed is 8. For the third one, we've got 3 times 3 times 3. We go through the same process again. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 again, and that gives us 27. You can see how saying cubed actually saves us a bit of time. Instead of repeating ourselves saying 3 times 3 times 3, we can just say 3 cubed. So these are the first three cubed numbers, 1, 8, and 27. And that's really all that cubed numbers are. You can see that a cube number is just a number multiplied by itself three times. And that's true for one cubed like we've already shown, but it also works for two, three, four, five cubed, and so on. Now, if you think back to squared numbers, you might remember that there's a little symbol that people use instead of writing it all out. We use a little two right up next to the number that is being squared. Well, when we're cubing it, instead of writing a little two, we're gonna write a little three. So one times one times one is one cubed. And remember, the little three means we're thinking about taking that number and turning it into a cube where all the sides are made up of that number. This works with one, it also works with two, three, four, and five, and so on. So that's what cubed numbers are. Here is a list of the first 10 cubed numbers, and it's interesting to see how quickly these numbers get bigger and bigger and bigger. We go from 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, 729, up to 1000. So the jumps between each cubed number get larger and larger as we go. That's everything for now. I hope this video has helped you to understand cubed numbers and I will catch you next time.